Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss the conflict theory as theoretical perspective for social stratification. Conflict theory is a sociological perspective that emphasizes the ways in which social inequality and power imbalances create and perpetuate social conflict. In our previous module, we discussed that how functionalist perspective views the stratification process. For functionalism, it is for the restoration of social order in society that stratification process is necessary. However, conflict theorists disagree to this point of view and they are of the view that this stratification is actually the foundation of inequality and ultimately it leads to the conflicting situations. According to conflict theory, social stratification is based on exploitation, oppression, and the most powerful and privileged individuals and groups using their position to maintain their dominance over the others. So the problem with this process of stratification is that it not only creates uh, a sense of inequality, but also creates the situations where conflict becomes so imminent. Uh, conflict theorists who are in this point of view of stratification see that in this society, there are different people in the society, different social positions that are present on the social positions, and in this way, there is no equality in society. And because the sociology is the ultimate goal, the ultimate purpose, it is that in the society, equality या balance create हो पाए और sociologist को ये देखना होता है कि कौन से ऐसे social phenomenon हैं जिनकी वजह से social inequality create होती है या मुआश्रे के अंदर inequality मजूद होती है तो social stratification चोंके एक ऐसा दर्जा बंदी का process है जिसके अंदर लोग जो है मुख्तलिफ hierarchical positions के उपर होते हैं तो conflict point of view से अगर हम इस stratification को देखेंगे तो हमें ये महसूस होगा कि stratification मुआशरे के लिए काउंटर प्रोडक्टिव है एस कंपेयर टू फंक्शनलिस्ट पर्सपेक्टिव जिनके ख्याल में ये है कि स्ट्रैटिफिकेशन जो है वो उतनी ही जरूरी है मुआशरे के अंदर दर्जा बंदी जो है किसी भी सोसाइटी को फंक्शनल बनाने के लिए उतनी ही जरूरी है जितने के बाकी एस्पेक्ट्स तो ये जो बुनियादी डिफरेंस है इसके अंदर जो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट थ्योरिस्ट हैं वो हमेशा इस प्रोसेस को क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखते हैं देन द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट थ्योरिस्ट आर्ग्यू दैट Social class is most important factor in determining the social stratification with economic inequality and the concentration of wealth at the top of the social hierarchy leading to the marginalization and disenfranchisement of those at the bottom. So in a nutshell, we can say that they are of the view that this, this system of stratification actually constructs the social conditions for the potential of inequality among the classes. So basically this class-based system is actually uh, based on the foundations of these uh, stratification processes. If we talk about the cultural context of Pakistan, conflict theories, th theory is of the view that stratification are often associated with the idea of ruling elite or oligarchy in which small groups of wealthy and powerful individuals control the political and economic systems. So as you can observe in our political system as well and as a sociologist it's a food for thought for you also that how our political system not only perpetuates but also strengthens the inequality based on this stratification process and we can observe it in different political scenarios for example uh, in our political parties or in our government organizational structures. 